Thanks for joining us here this week on Overworked Admin. <clears throat> this lesson is the 12th out of 14th uh, PowerShell series video. If you remember, uh, we're working on kind of a simple homebrew monitoring solution for PowerShell to monitor services in our environment to make sure that they stay up. Well, if you're monitoring a service, you need to know if that service goes down. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our uh, script to send us an email. And in order to do that, we have to have some sort of SMTP relay server. Now, part of the reason why this video took a little longer to come out is because it's becoming increasingly difficult to get an IP address on the internet that is not blacklisted for spamming. So if you try to do this video in this tutorial from your home lab and you can't send email, let's say to Gmail or to Google or to Yahoo or whatever it is that you're trying to send to, if you're probably doing the video right it's just that your internet service provider, their IP block, may be blacklisted um, from Google or something like that. So what I did is I actually went out, um, and even at Amazon, it's become increasingly difficult. Um, you have to have DNS resolution set up, um, things like that. So I just went to a local hosting provider. I got a virtual private server for the purpose of this uh, demo on a public IP block um, that wasn't blacklisted. And, and so if you're running into issues actually making this work, it's probably not that you're doing something wrong. It's probably just that your internet service provider is giving you an address that's blacklisted. So it's kind of unfortunate. Um, so this will really work uh, internally. So if you have an email server already set up and you can relay just for internal to your, your network, this is probably where that will be most valuable to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, search for PowerShell. And, uh, and what we're going to be doing, we're going to run as administrator. What we're going to be doing is we're not going to be writing PowerShell code, but I'm going to show you how to do a basic installation of an SMTP uh, relay server using PowerShell, um, it, at least part of it. Uh, in Windows two, Server 2012, you can do this all in PowerShell, but this is Windows Server 2008 R2, so we're going to have to use a little bit of the GUI, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, generally when people are used to working with Windows, they come down here and they push this button, and you have Server Manager, um, which you can see, and this is how you can do a lot of things. Well, we want to be able to install uh, a feature uh, of Windows using PowerShell. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to import a module, right? And that module is called Server Manager. So we're importing all those things that you could do through the GUI uh, right here via PowerShell. And what we can do is we can do get, it's that verb noun syntax that we've spoken about, get Windows feature. And what you can see is all of these things that are either installed or not installed uh, on our, our server. So what we're looking to install is an SMTP server. So as you can see, SMTP server is not installed. There's no X there. So what we do is we get get Windows feature. And now we're going to do add Windows Windows feature, and SMTP, if I could type, server. And so now, this is going to go through, and it's going to, just like if you were to have clicked through the little add uh, Windows features menus, this is going to go through and do that simply just because we typed it on the command line. So you can see is if you're building servers, you could build a script out to build the pieces of your servers that you want. A, it's much easier. Uh, B, it's it's faster to, to be able to deploy servers this way, and it's much easier to compare for change management purposes. So, as you can see, uh, we were successful in installing our SMTP server. We don't need to restart. The exit code was success, and we have SMTP server tools and SMTP server. So, what you're going to see now, if you go into administrative tools, you're going to have to go into your IIS 6.0 manager. So uh, by default, there's no uh, SMTP relay manager in IIS 7. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just open this up for you. We're going to go down here, and we have our SMTP server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Properties on this virtual server, and we're going to need to go into Access. Now for authentication, for the purpose of this, and, and this is not how you would set up an SMTP relay out on the open Internet. You would assuredly become a... a, a a place where spammers would go and use your SMTP relay. So you don't want that. This is just for the purpose of this video. So we are going to allow anonymous access. Um, we are going to allow, what's this IP address? Uh, I've spun this up just for you guys can see this IP address because this server won't be alive on the internet for very long. So 
So we want to add 64.91.254.43. Okay. And so that server is granted, it's, a, it's allowed to you know, make a connection. And it's also going to be allowed to relay SMTP messages off of the server. And 43, okay. All right, so that's really all we have to do. Um, it is actually pretty simple to set up a, a mail relay in Windows if you just need to send mail internally. So it's really quite simple. Um, so now what we're going to do is we've set up our server. We've allowed our server to send send mail. So what we're going to do is let me do it's a new mail. If I remember this correctly, or no, I'm sorry, send mail message. So now on the send mail message command, it does exactly what you would think that it does. It sends an email message. And there's a couple things that we need, like two. Who are we sending this email message to? Well, I'm going to send it to um, OWA videos at overworkedmail.com. And the from will be, uh, for the sake of this video, alert, because this is an alert that we're getting at overworkedadmin.com. Oh, actually. It's, that email does not exist. I'll just send it to myself. And you don't really have to put quotes around here, but sometimes I do. The subject, if you're going to have more than one word, that's really when you need the quotes. This will be a uh, test alert from lesson 12. And the body, we'll just keep that the same. Test alert from lesson 12. And there's one very important thing, the SMTP server that we're going to bounce, um, the SMTP server that we are going to, SMTP server that we're going to actually use to send the email through. And that is just going to be this IP address, 64.91.254.43. So now you see how that came back right away. And I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to open up my email and I'll show you. Right now on this clock it's 2.53. So let me just pause this and I'll log into my email and then you can see that this email message just sent. So hold on just one moment. Okay, so as you can see, I have this email alert here. It was apparently 9.50 something AM. But uh, it's to me right here, Stephen at Overworked Admin. It is Saturday, test from lesson 12. And uh, so, there we go. Um, you can check out my other mail there if you really want to spy on it. I'm really not that interesting. I got some stuff from GitHub. Um, so there you go. So this is basically how you would set up an SMTP relay server. Now, um, I do want to kind of give you a heads up. Again, even if you try to get an Amazon instance, they make you go through and set up all this DNS resolution um, to ensure that you're not a spammer, which is a good thing. Um, you know, if you're just trying to do this again, it could be a little bit more than what you want to do. Again, I, and last thing, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that if you are an admin and you're trying to do things like this, you would have access to some sort of SMTP relay server. So, just for those of you who don't know how to, you know, set one up, there it is. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can do with PowerShell, especially going to Windows Server 2012. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a, uh, after my Linux, I'm going to do some VMware tutorials. Uh, maybe I'll do some how to administer Windows with PowerShell. I think that'd be uh, beneficial to the community. So thanks again for watching this week here on overworkedadmin.com. We only have two, um, two lessons left to go. And then uh, we'll be doing some Linux and some VMware tutorials. So uh, yeah, we're almost in the home stretch. I hope that you found this valuable. And again, thanks for watching here on Windsor Tutes or I'm sorry, overworkedadmin.com.